Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of our Data Copy Kings video. In the last part of our video, we went through the main features of Data Copy King. In this part, we'll mainly focus on how this machine actually works. Alright, let's get started with the introduction of Data Copy Kings control panel. First, let's take a look at the color kind of screen through which you can see menus, submenus, and undergoing tasks details. And here you can see the USB port through which you can connect DCK to PC to perform tasks like upgrading it to a newer version. And here's the two ports with black edges are DCK's power input, uh, which connect to external uh, power adapters. And here are, are DCK's cooling window, and you can see it uh, full of holes. Uh, it keeps DCK working under, you know, in, in a temperature-friendly environment. And here you can see lots of ports and indicators, which has been divided into two rows. The first row is designed for write-only port uh, disks or target disks. And the second row is designed for read-only disks or source disks. And DCK provides you built-in IDE and SATA ports. And you can see it here. And these are ports for your hard disks with IDE, with IDE interfaces. And indicators and the SATA ports. And uh, the power port and the working indicators for your hard disks. So, with these building components, uh, such as screens, interfaces, por ports, uh, Data Copy King enables you to make, to make exact duplicates of your hard drives without the use of PC. All right, let's power on the Data Copy King by plug it, uh, plugging the power adapter. All right, you can see the touch screen goes bright and a power button uh, shows up in the center of it. And here's the power cable adapter and uh, the SATA cable uh, for the source disk because we plug it into the second row of the ports. All right. We connect it with the disk and uh, this cable is for the target disk and the SATA cable and okay connect them with the target disk alright after we've done this we'll be able to proceed to the next step image to disk okay now we are gonna activate this machine getting to the main menu and perform tasks provided by DCK here we zoom in to the touch screen so we can see the details okay now we hit the button here's the main menu we'll begin our demonstration with the image to disk and you can see the DCK is searching for hard drive here's the sub menu which has been divided into three sections. All right, first section is for source disk. You can check the serial number, data lens, choose where to start imaging, where to end, and also you can see the P icon, which means you can specifically choose one or more partitions to image. Okay, here's how you can do it. Just use a pen to point the box, and after you get into it, input the numbers. Here's the partition icon, and there's no partition has been found. It, it's because the source disk we use doesn't have any. All right, this section is for target disks. You can check the uh, serial number, land, data lens, and choose where to start. And the last section, where you can choose the number of best sectors to bypass, if any. Or check on and off by every by map, uh, high speed mode as you wish, or you can customize the UDMA speed mode to better suit your needs. 
all right the UDMA mode here we'll keep the default setting you know, check on the high speed mode and leave the rest options unchanged now we'll be able to move to next step by pressing the tick button all right and warning message show up here all right we hit the tick button again to continue and here's the image into disk screen where you can see details of task progress and you can check the finished percentage of current data transfer speed current LBA and left LBA best sector graph and you'll be able to uh, pause and continue or stop stop and cancel the task at, at any given time and if you stop the task you can restore it in the log section from where it was left and later of this video we will show you how to do it okay here's the main menu we press the image file option but there's one thing you should know oops the error message well, the thing is before you successfully perform this task you have to perf you have to format your target disks so let's go let's go down to the next screen okay here here it is disk format option press it okay searching all right let's confirm it by pressing the tick button okay formatting All right, after the formatting steps succeed, we get out and go back. All right, searching. Oh, there's no error message. Okay, we've all we've successfully entered into the image setting screen, and the settings are. All the same as you perform the task of image to disk. You can image the whole source drive to file and store in the target disk, or you can image one single partition to file and store in the target disk. If you have any problems with these settings, you can either go backward to the image to disk task way demonstrated a couple minutes ago or you can use the link we posted in the description area below to download Data Copy King's user menu and check it out okay this section we're gonna show you how to erase your target disk in order to maintain your target disk's data, inte data integrity okay here's the setting screen the SN is the serial number of, tar of your target disk and start and end indicates the full range of the whole disk and you can choose where to start and specify partition to erase and here you can see a partition has been found but we're not gonna do it so okay you can add or remove runs of disk erase by pressing plus or minus icon and you can set the format each round and there are three kinds of data strings you can choose from zero, F, and random data strings. And with DCK, you are able to add up to 999 rounds of disk erasing with different format of data strings. All right, here you can check on and off the high speed mode. Okay, now we can proceed to the next screen. Uh, okay, here you can see we have set seven times of disk erasing among which four times of zero and one time of F as well as two times of random data strings and you can also check on the auto power off option and you can post and continue uh, cancel task uh, wherever you want and you can check the finished percentage uh, current wiping speed about uh, 7.5 gigabyte per minute uh, very fast of course uh, LBA value, uh, failure times, and the best sector graph. Right, to test your source drive, simply connect 
and drives you want to test to the physical read-only port and press the disk test. All right, here's the disk test screen. Now where you can check the serial number of your source disk, uh, data lens, uh, finished percentage, uh, current speed, and best sectors. Okay, here's the log, uh, which we keep mentioning a couple of times during this video. Okay, as you can see it, a log is a very important place uh, where DCK stores all of the tasks you have performed. And you can, um, you can see there are 287 entries in total. And you can press an, an up and down button uh, to navigate through it. Okay, here comes a very important feature. You see that green arrow there, uh, which allows you to resume the task you stopped or canceled from where it was left. And you can see your, a recycle bin set right above the red cross button, uh, which allows you to delete the logs you don't need. But you should know that this step is irreversible. You delete it, you delete it. So what if the logs full? Easy. You can always explore in logs by connecting DCK to your computer. And you can also check your source disk and target disks and types uh, and serial numbers and uh, star LB values and LB values and state and date. All right. Um, after we demonstrate those uh, main functions of DCK, we still have these things to go um, before we finish the finish this video session. Okay, here's disk format. We've already seen it. A touch adjust. Well, sometimes it's necessary for you to adjust it for perfect touch screen operation and password setting. And here you can set the startup word, uh, log password, and uh, date and time. We're gonna skip it and about. So here you can check the current version of your data copy key and some uh, copyright information about this machine. And, uh, so uh, th these are basically the, uh, fo the, uh, the functions provided by DCK and now we power off the data copy key. And uh, we've come to the end of this video. And thank you for watching this video. And we hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, uh, like it and stick with us by subscribing to our channel. Uh, so we'll have the motivation to bring you more useful videos. And if you have problems, uh, you can leave comment or send us email. We'll be there to help. And thank you.